Hello, it's Sarah. And I am going to be working on a project tomorrow that I just wanted to give you a heads up about. I saw a video um, on YouTube, and it's Joggles, um, is, is the YouTube channel, I'm pretty sure. Um, it might be joggles.com. Let me look in my notebook because uh, she has a store, um, and I've actually all ordered from her before. Let's see. I, it's joggles.com, but I don't know if that's also her um, YouTube channel, but it's Joggles. Um, but they're called Wonky Wood Houses, and it's one of her most recent videos that she's posted. So if you go, you can see it, but it's awesome. Um, I was totally, I loved it, and it totally reminded me of these little houses that are on the head of this little art doll that I did, my little artist art doll. So I made these templates myself. I'm going to have Joe cut me out some wood that'll be like approximately, you know, I think these are called one buys or something. I'm not sure what they're called, but um, so there'll be little houses that'll be three dimensional. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do if I'm going to glue them together and maybe put them on a shelf or keep them separately. For now, I'm not sure, but um, I want to, I'm going to play with that because I, I'm, I'm kind of into um, this style, like of the decorating, um, the art dolls. Hers are a bit different, and I really liked how she did hers too. So you guys should check out her channel. Um, and I'm pretty sure she has the houses for sale in her store. So if you don't have a handy husband, or if you're not handy yourself, uh, you can get them from her. But um, the other thing was, I did end up getting a pack of these jelly roll pens and these are the moonlight and they're moonlight 10 because i think these are um considered a bold they're a five millimeter so they're not like i think they might have a finer point one too but this is what my michaels had and of course i used a coupon so i think these were around 14 so i probably got them for around eight eight nine dollars so that's that's pretty good um, you get 10 colors, and these are the ones that kind of, um, here, I did a little um, swatch of all the Jelly Roll pens that I have so far, and you can see these are the Moonlight ones. That's metallic. So the Moonlights end there and there. So that's the Moonlights up there. And on black paper, they look amazing. They're actually fluorescent as well, and they they light up in it. Um, Let's see, writes on dark paint paper. I don't think these are the fluorescent ones specifically. I think there is a, a fluorescent one. It says opaque luminous gel ink. So yeah, it, um, it may show up with a black light. Fluorescent colors glow under a black light. Yep, yep, so pretty cool. Um, haven't tried anything like that. I'm going to show you what I've been doing. And then I just made, um, I have only five metallic colors that I've kind of gotten one by one, but they look awesome on black as well. And these are called Stardust, and these are all the glitter ones, and you can kind of see them on black. They definitely glitter. The glitter is amazing. So, um, then this is actually the Uniball Signo, the big one. And then I have the, um... Just the classic white as well but this is the uniball i had this for a while i've had this um and i like that um and then the classic jelly roll it's a bit of a finer line um and i have a black jelly roll a classic and a pink classic let me see the pink i don't think that'll show up on black nah um but i also have a couple projects that i've done with these because I am still untangling and wanted to show you. So I tried it on the black paper and this is all, um, I used the white, probably either the, I think it's probably the Uniball, I would guess, the white. And then I just did my Zentangles with, these are the, uh, the Moonlight, so the fluorescent ones. And then the pink background is my pink wig Estella because I just love that and it made the heart pop out more. So, but I love that effect on the black. It's really nice. Then I did this entangle, which I love on, um, uh, what is it? Craft. <laughs> God, my brain. And I put a little bit of the glitter. So those are called um, Starlight. The Starlight Gold. I can't find it. It's somewhere on the desk here. Pretty sure this is it. The Starlight. Yeah. 
and it's just in the center as you can see that and I went around the edge too but I like it on the um, craft isn't that pretty with the white gel pen so that did that one and then this is the craft again and this is just straight jelly rolls no black pen at all um, so this is the um, moonlight and the white and a little bit of glitter I did put glitter in the background just to see how it would look on a different um, paper. And I don't love this. I did a little Zen dangle on here, and I mean, I ended up cutting it down and putting a black piece of cardstock on the back to back it, just to see if it would pop. But I think I'm gonna prefer this, this style on a card size. Like, I think this is a little small for um, the Zen dangles, but um, I had to try it, had to play. And I definitely um, colored in using a mixture of all of them. There's metallic glitter and moonlight so all of them so those are my ATCs I also did some Zenspiration ones this is the book I got um, by Joanne Fink and I'm loving her technique so I had shown you guys um, some of the doodles that I did in on, in my kind of like my notebook but I made ATC so here's a heart and I just left it plain, didn't embellish it really with anything, just black ink on white. Then this one is the flowers with a little bit of like a silver glitter pen on, um, you know, cards, not cardstock. So it's, um, you know, patterned paper is what I'm trying to say. So I wanted to see what it would look like on patterned paper. And this is just like a subtle flowery pattern background. And I think it turned out pretty cool. So that's that, and then I did a butterfly, and I did wink a cell of the wings. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. I like it. And then this is just that zen tangled kind of sunset or sunrise. And I did sign the front of it, but I also signed the back, so I'm not sure. I don't think I should sign the front. I think I should just stick with, keep it the clean art on the front. <laughs> But that one's really cool. Just the white on black looks super cool. So I'll have to come up with some more, more intricate designs for that. And then I made a couple of bookmarks. And I think that's pretty much it. This one is really cool. I'm going to laminate these, I think. I have a laminator and I haven't used it in forever. So hopefully it's still in good working condition. But all I did was um, the Zenspiration style heart all around the paper. Um, my pink wink of Stella in the background and then I stickles put um, icicle no I don't think I used icicle it's out somewhere I forget where I left it but one of my clears because I have so many clears I don't know I think it's icicle anywho because they're different but I just put that on the edges on the actual heart itself and left the white paper in the middle just clear I, I couldn't decide and you know what I could even put um, maybe some <laughs> dimensional magic or glossy accents on there and really you know but I'm just I think I'm just gonna laminate it and see how it goes with that but I think that's pretty cute pretty cute it looks like a pattern paper you know it, ooh, excuse me and then this one is a Zentangle too a dangle, I should say. And it's just one of her banners. And I just put love, hope, fun, dream. But again, I just think that this um, is too small of a surface to really appreciate um, what it is. So I don't know. I'm still, I'm going to laminate it and um, use it as a bookmark. So um, that's that. All right. So like I said, I will be working on those houses. Oh, I did practice a few. I'm kind of getting ready to do some type of a sugar skull for the cover of my um, my my little notebook here. And I'm probably going to make a couple more of these boxes because I'm starting to fill them up. I have a lot of ATCs. So a couple projects to come. And then I'm, I'm going to probably come back with a tutorial on the um, this one this little ATC. I had a request. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.